Hello YouTube, hi, my name is Mark and this is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and even simulators. Today's video, we will be installing a new floor and diffuser on the race car. This particular race car, the Formula 1000. And um, it's the last of a few upgrades uh, that I spoke about earlier this winter and uh, just thought you might enjoy this. So um, with that, let's get into it. So let me pan down and show you the new parts first before I uh, get them in the car. This is the diffuser, just standing upright. Um, it's uh, relatively the same other than it now has uh, turning vanes uh, to redirect some of the air. So this is uh, the front side facing forward and this is the rear uh, side again this thing's upside down um, apparently I have a couple more turning vanes coming but uh, that's what's on it at the moment so there's the diffuser Sp span over here here are the two halves of the floor now let me talk about this really quick so the floor in this race car is a flat bottom uh, the center portion of the floor is is a bonded aluminum uh, panel that um, um, that is not changed very easily uh, and so that that will remain in the car what I'll be changing is the side skirts of the floor so the diffuser here and then these side um, portions of the floor and if you saw um, last November I had a small little issue here was a, a damaged floor that I had to strap up just to make it through the race um, so that's what we'll be doing. Now I want to point out though, if I can, look at these new profiles here of the, of the, of the sides, uh, the side panels. Um, you have a, a little bit of air ducting here, which is cool. Um, we'll see how well that works, but these small little um, ridges um, that attempt to direct some of the airflow here. So that's all new. Um, Curious to see how well this works. So with that, let me set the camera down, start taking some of the parts off the car, and I will bring you back and show you the steps, okay? All right, so let me uh, just show, show where we're at. So I got the rear wing off, as you can see. Um, the bodywork, of course, off. Um, this is where I need to get uh, to the diffuser. As you can see, it's pretty out in the open at the moment. I'll take the, uh, the muffler off just so I have access here, um, but this part diffuser will come off and these side panels. And um, I think what I'll do is I'll just uh, tie up my uh, coolers, try to give them some support so I don't have to take all of that apart, but um, not too difficult. So let me uh, get the diffuser off and um, at least one of the side panels and, uh, and bring you back at that point. Okay, made a little progress. So I have this one side panel off, as you can see. It bolts up to um, the, the aluminum floor that I spoke about earlier. It actually mounts up to that on the sides. Uh, it's got several different other um, struts and mounting points, but um, have that one side off. The diffuser is removed here, as you can tell. So um, it's coming along. Need to clean it up now. Um, actually, I have rolling over here. I still have this panel yet to take off to. And then, uh, you know, at that point, clean it up and then start doing some fitting, you know, mock up um, where I want it. You have certain um, dimensions that you need to be thinking about uh, to be legal. Uh, so you have a certain um, width and things like that that you need to, you need to watch for, but Anyway, let me clean this up a little bit, get the other panel off, and I'll bring you back, all right? So whenever you get uh, custom parts made, right, um, usually there's a little bit of trimming uh, that's required to get the um, parts to fit. So that's all I'm doing here. I have, I have one side floor um, just up above the ground, and basically I'm just having to trim this uh, inside edge uh, for proper fitting in the car, that's all. Remember, you have certain... Um, uh, limits of rules for total width of the car, so you have to make sure uh, that you take care of that. So that's all I'm doing at the moment. Um, get it back in the car here and see how it fits. 
All right, so I have a one side floor piece tacked in place at the moment. Um, I don't think I'll have to do any trimming, uh, but right now I'm actually looking at just where I'm gonna mount my, uh, my cooler and uh, finish the rest of the mounts itself. You can see here from the front edge, if I can point to this here. So this is all new. There's a little bit of turning veins here on the front edge, um, and there's aluminum um, component here in the bottom of this edge, simply if, if it uh, touches the track just to protect it. Um, this um, flip up here um, is a lot longer than the previous floor. Um, so it should be interesting, but let me keep going, finish tacking this one in place. Clearly I have to do the other side yet and, and I'll bring you back. All right, so let me give you an update on the floor. Um, still doing some mock-up and fitting. I do have both sides, uh, the side panels actually in place, though I have a lot of brackets yet I haven't done. Um, because this actually overhangs, it's a little longer than, um, before I'm going to put, I'm going to put a, an extra uh, stainless strut in place here in this front corner. Um, I think uh, that that would prevent this thing from actually uh, hitting the deck at speed or in corners. Um, so I got to do that yet. I I have the uh, the new diffuser here, just set up on on the back of the car. Um, I I need to do some trimming to it to actually get it to um, to fit. This is pretty normal, and um, you know when you have custom parts, so, you know this is a normal thing. But anyway, I need to do that. I have um, the driver's left this side in place as well. Um, a lot of brackets yet to go. Uh, the strut up front here too. You know, so quite a bit of work yet. But just wanted to give you an update um, where I'm at. So what I'll be doing now is I'm going to trim this diffuser before I continue with the rest. Uh, of the hardware and the mounting pieces, I'll get this trimmed, get it in place, make sure I have tire clearance, which I will, but uh, you know, double check um, wheel clearance within the, uh, the, the inner wells here, stuff like that, and then I will be able to uh, continue to button it up, okay? So let me keep going, I'll bring you back. All right, so I made a little progress. I have the diffuser uh, tacked in place, so you can see uh, the new diffuser here. It has these uh, these cool uh, uh, veins, turn-in veins, which is neat. Um, need to finish a lot of the hardware and mounting at this point, um, but the bulk of it is is fitted in place. So good progress. Um, let me continue with some of these um, these struts that go on the side. Um, and get the rear wing on before I continue with the rest of the, the mounting hardware, okay? Well, I have this uh, thing pretty much buttoned up, so let me, uh, let me walk around and show you what I've done on this thing. Um, I had to do a fair amount of trimming uh, to get these sides on, and um, no big deal, again, it's normal. Now, this is a little longer up front. Um, I decided to add another strut in the front here um, to keep this from uh, hitting the track when I'm at speed. I'll have to uh, uh, obviously make some clearance through the side pod uh, to put that in place. But um, I mean, overall, I think, uh, I think the floor looks good. I'll show you the diffuser here in just a second. Um, this is the driver's left side. Again, this also has this um, stainless uh, strut on the front side here as well. This will be inside the side pod except for just a piece of it. And uh, if I go down here, let's look at the diffuser. Um, well, it has this uh, turning veins here, um, one on each side, so that's new. Looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and get the side pods on. Let me get the side pods, on, side pods on, you know, with those new struts on there, and then uh, we'll wrap up the video, okay? Well, I have the floor mounted and the diffuser, so that really wraps up the majority of the winter projects this year. Let me pan down here and just walk around um, so you can see what this looks like. I'll set it down on the ground here in just a minute as well, but here from the rear of the car, you can see the diffuser 
Um, there's a small turning vein over there where I'm kind of pointing, if you can see that. And rolling forward, here's the back of the diffuser and the new side pods, or excuse me, the new floor uh, with the side pods mounted on that. Now you can see I added these struts up front, these stainless struts. Um, I didn't uh, think I'd be able to do it this way, um, but actually it works quite well. Um, now the reason I did that, I have a strut here in the inside. This actually overhangs a fair amount and at speed, you're gonna, you're gonna actually suck this down um, and possibly touching the track. So um, anyway, I stuck those on there. We'll see what it does. And um, that's the driver's right. So you can see what that looks like. Again, here's this little air catch lip here and a little turning vein inside there. Um, it has this aluminum um, skid plate mounted here in this front edge. And then on the sides, this is this flip up a little, a little kick up, trying to create vortices with air moving out away from the car at this point to, well, in theory, create more downforce, right? So that's the uh, driver's right. Here's the driver's left. Same, same thing. Have this, um, the stainless strut mounted here to try to keep this edge off the track. And as I just roll around here, you can see this small catch here. This is about, what is that? About an oh, inch and a half, maybe thereabouts. So it, it's not huge, um, but it actually does turn the, that inlet air, high-speed air out, and then tries to create a vortice here. Again, we'll see what that does on the track. Now there's a couple other bits and bytes and pieces uh, that, that um, I should have over the next day or so small barge board piece and a couple other turning veins. So when I get those, I'll, uh, I'll update, I'll update uh, kind of the details on that and if it makes any difference, whatever. Okay. All right, I have the car on the ground and uh, just wanted to show you what it looks like on the ground, uh, the, the diffuser and the floor that is, right? So if I pan down here, get all the way down the ground, you can see what the diffuser looks like from the rear of the car. So you see the, uh, the two turning vanes there on the left and where I'm pointing over there to the right. I have, I believe, two more turning vanes coming, uh, I think tomorrow. So I'll be adding those, probably have to do that at the racetrack. So that's the rear. Let's roll around, look at the floor itself. Here, let's go on the driver's right um, as looking at the car sitting on the ground here. But I um, wanted to show you this front edge of the floor. Now you can see what it looks like as it's, as it's sitting, you know, on the ground itself, right? So here again, you can see um, clearance to the track. Um, and then here's this, this catch or this build lip up piece here. And this is about, by the way, uh, you know, I, let me get a tape measure, hang on. Right, so if anybody's curious, this opening looks like it is uh, about nine and three quarter, just a little under 10 inches across. And its height, yeah, it's about an inch and a half from the floor edge itself, right? So if you put the tape measure down there, you can kind of see that. Um, in my floor, it's I'm, I'm pretty low. It's about just a tad over an inch and a half on the edge. Now, I run this car very, very low. I think my front right height, I'm about 20 mil, uh, just so you know. Um, it It's very stiff, sits very low. So that is what it looks like. And again, the air, the idea here is that this will catch some high speed air, not a lot, a little, and there's turning veins inside here that, that in theory, move that high speed air out to the front edge here of the floor. And this flip up here um, is, is expected to create a small vortice 
um, on this leading edge. And it should make a difference. We'll see. So that's the floor. And again, when I put these other bits on it, um, I'll give you an update at that point and talk about it. You know, and then of course, if there's any difference. Right, so we'll run, we'll run on the track tomorrow, make sure everything's fine. Again, this is kind of the wrap up of a lot of the uh, winter project stuff. Not a lot of major changes, but a few, right? I mean, the steering wheel hub, the, the brakes, um, the floor and diffuser, um, a, few, a few things. So I just wanna do a few uh, shakedown laps tomorrow. And um, I will be loading up again tomorrow afterwards I'll be running to Circuit in America. So next week I will be racing at the U.S. Majors at uh, Circuit of America. That's in Austin, Texas. I'm sure all of you watching this channel know exactly where that is. Um, but it's a Formula One racetrack in the United States, a purpose-built track. It's, it's actually quite awesome. So I'll be running next week. The weather looks like it will be okay um, in the low 60 Fahrenheit. Um, not too bad, right? So um, I'll drag you along so you can see what that's like and uh, experience that with us. But that's next week and it's a double header. So we will be on track Friday. We'll have a little bit of test time on the track Friday and then Saturday and Sunday, both will have their own qualifying and um, race um, each day. Uh, it should be fun. There's quite a few Atlantics, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think, I think there's about a half dozen um, Formula 1000s like this or similar to this. There's about six or seven, maybe eight um, Swift 14s, Swift 16s, uh, some of the traditional, you know, upper end Atlantics and some Pro Mazdas, that type of thing. The group, I'll be on track with um, 60 cars. I think it's 59 or 60, 61 cars in total so should be fun so follow along I think you'll enjoy that okay well the winter project the work is done the floor is on the diffuser the Crontech steering wheel hub the Tilton pedal assembly kind of brake upgrade that kind of thing I hope you enjoyed um, these videos um, again this is just trying to share with you some of the activity what I'm doing and um, you know, I appreciate the comments. So questions, thoughts, questions, comments, please you know, shoot, shoot those over. I'll get to you as quick as I can. But that's it for this video. Uh, I appreciate you watching. And um, you know, look, if you haven't subscribed, I hate asking that, everybody does, but if you haven't subscribed, you know, consider doing so, I would appreciate that. Um, but that's it for now, until next time, ciao.